Now, in this video, we are going to take up one more problem on shafts, the problem number 33. A shaft is required to transmit 245 kilowatt power at 240 RPM. The maximum torque may be 1.5 times the mean torque. The shear stress in the shaft should not exceed 40 MPa and the twist 1 degree per meter length. Determine the diameter required if number one the shaft is solid and number two the shaft is hollow with external diameter twice the internal diameter. The modulus of rigidity is 80 kN per mm square. So this has been asked in December 2016 and January 2017. So now we are going to Analyze the data. He has given 245 kilowatts, so capital N will be equal to 245 kilowatt, and small n is 240 rpm. The maximum torque T max. So we need to find out the diameter of the shaft, and uh, the maximum torque is 1.5 times the mean torque, and the shear stress is 40 MPa, so it is 40 newton per mm square, and the twist that is theta is 1 degree, that is. 1 into pi by 180 and per meter length so naturally the length is 1 meter which is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of 3 meters or m and theta is 1 degrees and g is 80 kilonewton per mm square so convert that kilonewton into newton which is 80 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square so d naught is given which will be external diameter is twice the internal diameter, so it is 2 into di. So, since he has given the power, so therefore the power transmitted by the shaft, capital N will be equal to 2 pi small n into t mean divided by 60,000 kilowatt. So, substitute the values, n is 245, will be equal to 2 pi into 240 into t mean divided by 60,000. So on simplification, you will going to get T mean will be equal to 9748.24 Newton meter or and the maximum torque is given which is uh, 1.5 times the T mean. So you substitute the value of 1.5 into 9748.24 into 10 to the power of 3. So that will be equal to 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton m. So once you get the maximum torque, now from the strength criterion, what we know is T by JP is equal to tau by R. So you substitute the values. So T is 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by pi D to the power of 4 by 32, which will be equal to tau is 40 that divided by D by 2. So therefore, on simplification and cross multiplication, diameter of the shaft D will be equal to 123.02 mm. So similarly from the rigidity criterion we want to find out that is T by JP is equal to G into theta by L. So substitute the values T is 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by pi D to the power of 4 by 32 will be equal to G which is 80 into 10 to the power of 3 into pi by 180 because it is 1 degree divided by 10 to the power of 3 because 1 meters. So, therefore, D will be equal to the fourth root of 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 into 10 to the power of 3 into 32 into 180 divided by pi square into 80 into 10 to the power of 3. Therefore, the diameter of the shaft is 101.62. So, from the strength criterion, it is 123.02 and from rigidity criterion, it is 101.62. Therefore, consider the larger value. So the diameter of the solid shaft D will be equal to 123.02 mm. So similarly T by JP is equal to tau by R. So you substitute for the hollow shaft now. That is 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by pi by 32 into D naught to the power of 4 minus D i to the power of 4 which will be equal to 40 by D naught by 2. So on cross multiplication and uh, simplification, 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 into 32 divided by pi into d naught to the power of 4 minus 0.5 into d naught the whole to the power of 4 
which will be equal to 40 into 2 by d naught. So on further simplification, d naught will be equal to cube root of 14622.36 into 32 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by pi into 0 0.9375 into 80. So therefore, d naught will be equal to 125.7 mm. Similarly, from the rigidity criterion, t by jp is equal to g into theta by l. So again, you substitute 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by pi by 32 into d naught to the power of 4 minus di to the power of 4 and close the bracket. So that will be equal to 80 into 10 to the power of 3 into pi by 180 by 10 to the power of 3. So again, simplify this 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 into 32 divided by pi into open the bracket d naught to the power of 4 minus 0.5 into d naught whole to the power of 4 and close the bracket. So that will be equal to 80 into 10 to the power of 3 into pi by 10 to the power of 3 into 180. So again, pi by that is 14622.36 into 10 to the power of 3 into 32 divided by pi into d naught to the power of 4 into point 9375 will be equal to 80 into 10 to the power of 3 into pi divided by 180 into 10 to the power of 3. So d naught will be equal to 103.28 mm. So, so from the strength criterion, the d naught is 125.7 and similarly from the rigidity criterion, it is d naught is 103.28 mm. Consider the larger value, therefore outer diameter of hollow shaft D0 will be equal to 125.7 mm. So inner diameter of the hollow shaft Di will be equal to D0 by 2. So therefore, which will be equal to substitute 125.7 by 2, which will be 62.85 mm. So therefore, Di will be equal to 63 mm. So this is how you will be able to analyze and solve this problem. Thank you.